E plane and H plane. The plane and H plane are reference planes for linearly polarized waveguides, antennas, and other microwave devices. In waveguide systems, as in the electric circuits, it is often desirable to be able to split the circuit power into two or more fractions. In a waveguide system, an element called a junction is used for power division. In a low frequency electrical network, it is possible to combine circuit elements in series or in parallel, thereby dividing the source power among several circuit components. In microwave circuits, a waveguide with three independent ports is called a T junction. The output of E plane T is 108 headed out of phase, where the output of H plane T is in phase. E plane. For a linearly polarized antenna, this is the plane containing the electric field, vector sometimes called the E aperture, and the direction of maximum radiation. The electric field, or E plane, determines the polarization or orientation of the radio wave. For a vertically polarized antenna, the E plane usually coincides with the vertical slash elevation plane. For a horizontally polarized antenna, the E plane usually coincides with the horizontal slash azimuth plane. E plane and H plane should be 90 degrees apart. H plane. In the case of the same linearly polarized antenna, this is the plane containing the magnetic field vector sometimes called the H aperture and the direction of maximum radiation. The magnetizing field or H plane lies at a right angle to the E plane. For a vertically polarized antenna, the H plane usually coincides with the horizontal slash azimuth plane. For a horizontally polarized antenna, the H plane usually coincides with the vertical slash elevation plane. Illustrations Co and cross polarizations. Copolarization copol on cross polarization cross pol are defined for the radiating E and H planes. These directions are defined in spherical coordinates to corresponding to the spherical wave fronts of the propagating wave. By convention, the copol direction is the direction of the E field, while the cross pol direction is the direction of the H field. Receive power for a copol oriented antenna is maximum while receive power is minimum for cross pole orientation.